everybody welcome back to the channel it's time to watch some more paint dry today and today we're swatching the Rembrandt Oxide Black PBK 11 which I bought also as a mixing color to make my own granulating mixes because um, Mars Black Oxide Black is quite a granulating color and if you've looked at any of the Schmincke super granulating colors, PBK11 is and quite a few of them in the darker ones. So, And I think Royal Talents, both in the Van Gogh and the Rembrandt lines, they have their dusk, are they called dusk colors? And they are mixed with PBK11. So the reason I got this is I want to see what mixes I can make with these. And I think you can see the paper is wet bits of the paper are already a bit wet. I've wet them before. So I'll start with some neat color up there in the dry corner and then we'll get like a good wash going and see how it granulates out. Once I've swatched it, I will zoom you in and time lapse it so we can see it hopefully. So let's go just get a bit on my brush. This is probably gonna be crazy. Oh, it's actually not so bad. And there you can see where it's hitting the white paper. It's moving about quite a bit. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. I want actually want it stronger up here. There we go, that's maybe a bit better. I do want quite a bit of pigment in here so we can actually see something in the time lapse. Get some more water on the brush. There, right, this is what it's all about. Get some more. Ah. I guess. This is all. I haven't perfected this. Oh, I'm sorry if you just heard my cat meow there in the background. She does that when she wakes up. It's very adorable. I don't even know why I swatch out this bit below. Especially since I didn't seem to be getting a very good gradient here. But never mind, it is what it is. There we go. All swatched out. I will start the time lapse, zoom you in a little bit so you can see better. And then I'll come back and talk to you when it's done. See you in a sec. So here we have the finished swatch. You can see there's a good bit of granulation there. I think it looks promising as a mixing color for making my own granulating colors. I haven't looked at the, the Rembrandt seri uh, series dust colors too closely, but I think if I remember correctly, the Van Gogh dust colors they're um they've mixed like phthalo green phthalo blue and quinacridone magenta maybe with oxide black and i'm definitely going to try and replicate that and i mean you see this is the half pan that i filled today it's fairly full now i mean once it once it dries down it will be it will, will not be it will not look quite so full but still, I think this is a 20 milliliter tube. Yes, 20 milliliters. So I'll get I'll get three more full pans out of this one. There's a half pan, it's a full pan, obviously. So there's plenty of paint there to play around with and mix and see what I can do. And see what happens when I um, mix it with like um, a French ultramarine and other like colors that granulate by themselves already. So that's going to be interesting and that's going to be something that I will be doing for the Watching Paint Dry series as well. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe to the channel. If you like these sort of videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you have 
this Oxide Black or any other PBK11 and you've tried your own mixes with it, do leave me a comment and tell me what you did. And thank you everybody for watching. Bye now.